Hello everyone, my name is the Ember Knight, or Ember for short. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Revile. You can probably tell, same clothes, same same, same outfit, but that's because before I ended the, when I ended the video be the last time, I went to chapter select, and I seen that that could be the end of the game, so... Whether or not I bind this in with the other episode, I don't know. I'm just going to see how long it takes. But we're just going to continue this episode as normal. Because who knows, this episode might get like combined onto the other episode. Depending how long it takes to beat this. Holy hell! This place is huge. How the fuck did I get here? Maybe a life's a lie. Who set up here? Subject seven. Is that supposed to be me? What are they doing here? What was I doing here? Oh shit! I've just figured it out. Last theory. Well, maybe not last theory, but. Looking at this, how they've got cameras, a backstory, shifting rooms. What if his entire life is a lie and he's a test subject? Potential escape detected. That's why the sirens are going off because he's um he's figured out a way out this out of the house. Maybe this in the door. The only thing I can think of, like, this is insane. Like, it would make sense, like, you know, see how a person reacts to killing their own daughter. Oh, God. What? Take some outlaws. Oh, what is going on with my head? Oh, they even had groceries delivered. Pizza. It took some friggin' outlaws trial shit. It's like, yeah. Um... Outlaws. Well, it's like outlaws trials mixed in with a bit of Happy Humble Burger Farm. Like. How you're in a simulation and you broke out the simulation and then, um, hop, well, oops, <laughs> I kind of just spoiled the entire plot of that game, but. Looks like a workshop. It I turns out he's in a simulation. The hilt is empty. Wait, isn't that Dory's? 100% though, they, this is like a, a simulation, like, they've been engineering all of this stuff just to mess with his head. Oh, that's a lot of medicine. And they've been given a medicine to make it so, like, none of it feels real. Or maybe, like, to make them pass out and then they can move the rooms when they want to move the rooms. It's so crazy. Oh my god, it is as well. It is a... It's a... Oh, it's a fucking simulation, it is. Sorry for my language, but... It is a simulation. There. That has to be an exit. An office. How many people work here? And where are they? You obviously ought, ought to kill them all. I think he's dead. Who was he? John Otto? Maybe it's the guy from that cleaning game I've been playing. I forgot what it's called, but it's like something like clean up detail. God. 
this is such a crazy game. Like, it went from, like, a clown circus. Like, I thought it was just, like, you know, he takes his pills. It's to make him forget what he... How about, like, his wife leaving him and that. But I wasn't expecting the whole simulation. What were they doing here? Hey, who is this guy? Oh shit, he has a gun! Barbecue event, free food and drinks, fun of your colleagues. New subject for House 12. Chris and Cassie, Mary, 100%. I know I'm gonna keep. I know I'm gonna keep saying that, but I'm literally going with the fact that this is a simulation. So you got on its own like brand in that. It doesn't work. It's locked. Maybe I can unlock it from another computer. Nope. Oh damn! Locked. There has to be another way. What the hell do I do now? Oh, this headache is killing me. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to go from computer to computer. A scouting report. Scouting for what? Or whom? Wait. Subject 7 was also on the screen in front of my house. But it says Liam Kennelly. That's not my name. What the fuck is going on here? It's a simulation, mate. Norm. Liam Kennedy, Scouts Report Summary. Age 35, gender male, various part time jobs, education, high school job, or income low. Liam Kennedy dropped out of school, he's 15 years old. Right. I don't really care about that, but I'm assuming this is his file, so. Um, 9.15, subject woke up and seemingly had a bad dream. Details of the dream are unclear. No sign that this is connected to a memory remnant. Subject behaved strangely when a connecting corridor maintenance team is looking into after shift. Still an indication of memory rem remnants. Sub subconscious breaking through should have taken place, but subject exhibits less signs than usual at this stage of cycle. Subject's behavior continued. Early termination of the cycle is recommended. Yeah, so that's 100% his report. God, it's so weird though, like... I never expected this from this game. Right, so I've got to open up three doors, so it'll probably be like this room, that room, and then I'll open the door for us. Gunshot wounds. Dude, it's literally a friggin... It's a. Uh, it's not the apocalypse. I'm trying to think what the word is. It's inevitable now that they're gonna be gunshotters. There are others. This must be me. Oh, that doesn't look good for him. There it is again. Subject 7, Liam Kennelly. I just... I don't know why, I can't wrap my head around it. Now, as much as I would love to read the notes and, like, understand the thing a bit more, I'm sure it's just going to tell you, like, you know, what that day-to-day -day routine was and how, like, the were. And it would just be the same for, like, everyone, but changed a bit. Shit. The dark at sea. 
So they've all got their own little diagrams, like... The circus. So this house will probably be like here. Well, no. It'll be like here, and then obviously like... This path takes you to the circus for him. Whereas whoever lives here obviously goes to the church or whatever. Whoever goes here goes to the high school. I think it's high school. Whoever goes here runs around there. More bodies. How many people died in here? Access memory storage device. Fabricated memories. Everything Liam. is staged. Martha and Dory aren't real. Liam can, can just put all these fake memories into my head. Liam. I can't believe this. Let me speak. Oh, oh, what is going on with my head? What if that is his real name? Procedure data, procedure was successful, measured with values of all fail, all fall into expected ranges. Fabricated memories were reviewed and approved. Old memories were archived. Subject awakens and appears disoriented. He seems to be unable to recall inf any information about his past previous life. Subject is introduced to his model house. Artificial house modeled after his invented family home. He is able to recognize and identify the house as his own. However, he however sim seems to dismiss this as the current state of the house. Subject finds a photograph of his wife and daughter, Martha and Dory. He is able to identify them as his family and is able to recall basic information about them. Subject seems to be unable to recall the traumatic parts about his fabricated memory. Subject is searching for his wife and daughter in the house. Subject subconscious seems to radically alter his perception of his fabricated memories without, without the traumatic parts. Initial conclusion, the memory replacement procedure was successful in implanting Artificial memories into the subject's mind, further observations seem to indicate suppression of parts of the fabricated memory, but no sign of the existence of old memories, subject's perception is altered in order to support the suppression of those memories. <sighs> it's so... Whoa. That's all I can say. I don't like that. That's a that's a soundproof wall. So this was him before he was experimented on. Uh, I'm not sure how long I'll stay here. Well, I don't need most of it anyway. So what if, um, we'll check the Outlast Trials. He gets a letter, well, Outlast Trials, they got a, there was a note that took them to the experiment. But what if he gets a letter through the door saying, you know, come be part of this. I found this yesterday in front of my door. Yeah, they got a box, so inside the box will be this, and that's gonna give you a place to go. Can you find this? A thousand dollars for every participant. Yep. <laughs> Still you not went. sure if this is some kind of joke, but man, the money would be nice. It's just like our last trials, like they get a note saying, come join us. You know, our last trials was, you look, if, are you lonely? 
or you like so, I don't know what the rest of it was but like come join us or something and this is saying you got a thousand dollars looks like some kind of puzzle box shouldn't be too hard for me I can see a piece of paper it seems stuck hmm I forgot to finish this it'll have to wait eh, it's disgusting but I like cold pizza so do I oh, I'm broke anyway no point in going out <sighs> I guess I'll have to find a job where I don't need a car. Your 2001 Honda Cynic with license plate has been repossessed due to your failure to make timely payments on your auto loan. We have repeatedly tried to contact you, but you have not responded. Your vehicle could be sold at the auction to recover the outstanding balance on your loan. Repay immediately to prevent further damage to your credit. Sincerely, Adam Collins. Adam, you've got your own friggin' car shop now. Go you. Go you, Adam. It's not empty. Okay, so I've got a battery for some reason. Wait, there's obviously stuff to sell in the wrapper. Another battery. I wonder what life would have been like if I had stayed in the army. Well, probably better than living like this. I'm sorry you're a nice guy, I just can't. I just can't with you living like this. I thought this would somehow work out, but I was wrong. If you want to let other people in your life, you need to change something. But I think you know that. Please don't call or show up yes, Sarah. Well, wouldn't have worked out anyway. Must have been his ex. <sighs> I could pawn it off, but it's the last thing I have left of him. I don't know what I could do. Seems stuck. See, if you can open this up, then you can, like, turn the dials up at. I need something like a key here. Right, so, a key. So that's what the hint system says. Seems stuck. It seems stuck. Well, that sounded like something happened. <clears throat> okay. Now this... Yeah, this episode is probably not going to be in the other episode. This will probably be the finale. Oh, shit. Well, that sounded like something happened. It seems stuck. It seems stuck. A translucent disc with some kind of symbol in the middle. Maybe you're saying two needs to be set to that. Something flat needs to be inserted here. There's a strange key hidden in there. And then three has to be O2, maybe? Five has to be the one at the bottom. Let me put that all the way back up. First, I need to put in some batteries. It seems stuck. It seems stuck. Look, well, come on, man. I pressed the buttons.
Right, then you probably have to make the symbol. It seems stuck. It seems stuck. Well, that sounded like something happened. Yeah. Right, and then let's just make the discs, yeah? We'll make this. Right, so let's go like that. Something came out of the cube. It's ringing. Hmm. Must be a hint. Penrose Street. Wait, that's right around the corner. Should be easy to find. Guess I'll go look for another hint. I was what very easy to find. Yeah, so he does live in Japan. Well, maybe one day, but it's out of my league right now. I should just look for another job. What am I even doing? It's probably some kind of scam, right? Maybe I'll find something in that back alley. What a tune. Oh, is that a phone ringing? That must be it. A phone booth? That's new. What now, Liam? Oh my god, are you joking? Right, so well, this one's not too bad. So it's seven, seven, one. That's what's not that. Oh, hello. Seven, one. Seven, one, eight. Zero. Nine. What? Zero. I've never understood how to use these. Oh. Seven. Seven. One. One. Eight. Easy. Okay. This is slow. What are you saying to that mannequin? <laughs> Sorry. Nice <laughs> space. Sounds like my kind of nightclub. Where's your bookshop roulette? You gotta take that beat away from me, otherwise I'm gonna keep like dancing. Oh, it's getting louder. Are these old prison cells? Let's hope they don't lock me up. <laughs> Where am I going? Good question. This door looks a bit out of place. Whoa, what is this place? Welcome to Norn. Please enter Chamber 3. 
You got it. What is this? More puzzles? Just one, one last, last test. test. Start okay. the timer. Interesting. It seems to have multiple segments. I should press the button first. Press the button to start. Right, so it's obviously going to be like how fast I can like figure it out. I'm soundproof for us. Obviously, soundproofed for a reason. Oh, this can't be real. My name really is Liam Kennelly. That was my life. I can't believe this. Dory, Martha, you're not real. Just another puzzle to lure me in. So long. What is this? Uh, is this rev no reveal? Now. I'll get to the bottom of this. I guess the power is out. The way this game's gonna end is with me shutting this place down and then getting shot. This looks almost exactly like the cube I received. That's the prototype. Meaning it is the original. Oh, that must nice. be the generator. Oh, but it's not working. Ugh. I see it. One of these things is broken. Now I just need to find a replacement. Which I know thanks to hens. I wonder who escaped then. This one looks good. Because he did not escape and kill all them people. Had to be someone else. Because I don't think he would escape and then, like, go back to his room. Oh, perfect. My face is back. Yay! Bright light. Did I use this machine before? What the hell did I do? Oh, there's an exit over there. It's probably not gonna oh, work, I just though. need to get out of here. But this room feels sinister. Is this where they messed with my head? I'm ready for round two. This is the machine. card to get out of here. So maybe I can go in the rack with that thing again. Oh, a desk. Wait! <laughs> no, someone else is on the computer. I can't see because of my thing, but... Oh, here we go. This facility is currently on lockdown. Please stay calm and continue all your work as normal. As soon as the emergency goes resolved, the lockdown will be lifted. For, for more information, feel free to speak to your supervisor. I hope this email finds you well. I have excellent news for the project. I just had a meeting with someone very high up in the government. I can't discuss their identity, but they have expressed a special interest for certain applications of a project. With their support, we would secure all the funding that we would ever need. They may also be able to introduce me to a military contact. But for all this to work out, we need to finally take the last step. They want confirmed trials. Trials! Oh, last trials! 
underway so we can proceed with the trial as soon as possible. If we manage this, the impact, the political world, we could have imagined will notify me as soon as everything is ready. Thank you for this information, we will take care of it. I'm not sure if I'm going to talk to Brandon Lee, but a member of my research team was overheard making remarks about quitting. It seems to have to do with his family. I made sure to brief my team about the company policies regarding early resignation, but I have to stress that Brandon is a very reliable worker and an important part of the team. Because of this, I am unsure how to proceed. That is excellent news. I knew you and, you and your team could do it. We will have a magnificent future to look forward to. Can you please meet with me at the head offices next week? We can discuss the next step of the project. I am, proud of I am proud to notify you that my team and I have successfully imprinted our first test memory. The volunteer remembered our control numbers when asked, without having been told then. The procedure went without incident as vitals are unexpected ranges. He is eager to, as eager as, as we are to continue the further tests. As far as we know, we are the first in the world to actually alter the human memory with desired data. We obviously have a long way to go, but the implications are incredible. I can't even begin to imagine how much this will change the medical landscape theoretically. We could find a way to treat most neuroconnective disorders. This technology could even be used for therapeutically. We will continue right away and schedule the next advanced tests as early as next week. You will receive a detailed report in the following days. To our great future, Dr. Ian Keller, lead research known as S. Known as. Known as or. Eh, what was that? I don't think I need them. Until now, Subject 7 exceeded all our expectations. The rate in which memory remnants occur for him is still fairly high, spinning his high cycle count. But subjects last less than 8 hours after the occurrence of memory fragments, which forced us to greatly increase observation efforts and security. Even with that, our failure rate for most subjects is still fairly high. Subject 7 still suffers the same side effects like headaches and dizziness. But as condition progresses much slower, we had multiple occurrences where we only noticed after reviewing the footage that had a memory remnant occurred. The side effects were for him in the end, but this increased. The side effects were so minor that we realised it's only a day. We are sure it would still be fatal for him in the end. But this increased resiliency makes him a very special special subject indeed. The trait of his might allows us to test our most unstable or dangerous memories much safer than before. We must be careful to still initiate new cycles as needed. We can't risk losing him, but noticing the occurrence of a memory fragment seems much more problematic for him. We will request new funding for special safeguards. Did I kill all these people? I really did all of this. Making me believe I murdered my family is bad enough. But I killed all those people in here. They were real. Yeah, I thought you were trying to justify killing people, but... Good to know you know not... Can I interrupt with it now? Death of last subjects. Subjects two and three. Brain hemorrhage. Old memories resurfacing. Severe headaches. Inflamed brain tissue. Memory imprinting risks. Ugh. Resetting imprinted memories. Blocking the original memories again. Uh, Countermeasures. Initiate the next cycle. Ugh. Further research required. Dr. Ian Keller. Right, well, oh, he read. Shit. Does this mean I have to use this machine to fix myself? I don't have time for further research. I just have to try it. I was going to read the card from one of the researchers. Oh, this could be my ticket out of here. Oh, my head. Focus. No, I was going to read all that, but he kind of like summed it up, so... I must use the machine to fix my head or I'll die. 
No okay, came man. And how are we gonna do that? Password for damned. Like you. What am I doing here? Lame channel. Seven. What now? I think I need to set up these modules. What? D imprinting. Oh, this might be what I need. Oh, I hope I know what I'm doing. I'm sure you do. Okay, so now I'll take it up where I explore the map and figure out what I need to do. Probably what all these wires are connected to, to be honest. Yep, it is. Quite weird, but something off. Oh God! This is, oh, this is bad. Oh. I'm not sure I know what to do here. Oh, I know how to do these. It'll just be like, yep, just like our last trials. Just like all us trials. It's what's one of them things. God damn it. Why is it like this to me? What? Why? Wait. There we go. Oh, I really think I need to hurry. Oh. Oh, please let this fucking work. Oh. 
Look at that man. So, this will leave only my original memory intact? I guess I've got nothing left to lose. Is this the machine? At least when I hope it works. Oh, I'm gone. <laughs> what? So sorry, Martha and Dory. You may not be real, but I am. I'm not sure why, but I want my own life back. Oh, I'm gone. I don't blame you for wanting your old life back, I think anyone would. What, someone's gonna come out of the darkness and shoot us? Oh, no. <laughs> it feels weird. I know I just removed the fake memories, but I can't remember anything about them. But what now? Oh, I still killed all these people. What if it wasn't you? And you're about to get an outlast one ending. You're about to get gunned down. I can guarantee it, it was not him. Why would he why would he literally leave the gun and then just go back to his own to his own little house? It wouldn't make sense. That other person has to be here, yeah, the person that actually killed them is gonna shoot me. Maybe? Maybe. Ugh, let me just get out of here and hope they leave me the fuck alone. Probably too much to ask, but I won't make it easy for them again. Bang. No. Oh. Thank you, Pixel Split, for making it. But I'm after we watch the footage because I swear to God, I just seen something. I swear to God, I just seen someone walk past the, behind me, like something in the dark. It's like my partner is not in the room, right? And I just seen something walk past. But thank you, Pixel Split, for making such an amazing game. That was. That was fantastic. Oh my god, that was mint. Um, if you enjoyed the episode today, and um, want to see more videos like this, I'll leave links in the description as always. I hope you enjoyed Re Reveal as much as I did, and I hope to see you in the next video that I do. Goodbye! <laughs>